Topographical maps are used for land navigation primarily. As preppers and survivalists, we need to understand the map legend or margin information. This video will demystify the information commonly seen in modern USGS topographical maps. Stay tuned. In this video, I'll be explaining the topographic map margins information. Basically, the neat line is the line separating the body of a topographic map from the map margin or collar. The space outside the neat line on published USGS maps identifies and explains the map. This marginal information corresponds somewhat to the table of contents and introduction of a book. It briefly tells how the map was made, where the quadrangle is located, what organizations are responsible for the contents, and gives other information to make the map more useful. Each map is identified in the upper right margin by its quadrangle name, the state or states in which it is located, and the map series and type. 7.5 minute series topographic map. The quadrangle name and state are repeated in the lower right margin as well. The Department of the Interior Geological Survey heading in the upper left margin is accompanied by the USGS identifier logo in maps published after 1995. The map I'll be explaining is a 124,000th scale topographic map, also called a 7.5 minute map. It covers 7.5 minutes of longitude, 7.5 minutes of latitude. Number one, the state plane coordinate system grid tick and value. In this example, it's 1,900,000 feet north of origin within the state plane grid system. This coordinate system was established by the National Geodetic Survey for the use of defining positions of points in terms of plane rectangular XY coordinates. There is usually at least one system for each state within a specific origin point. Each state determines whether its units will be measured in feet or meters. Number two is latitude. In this example, 32 degrees 52 minutes 30 seconds north latitude north of the equator, which is zero degrees latitude. Geographic coordinates, latitude and longitude are shown in all four corners of the map. The minutes and seconds are additionally shown at 2.5 minute intervals along the neat lines. This latitude is in the degrees, minutes, seconds format. Number three is longitude. In this example, 116 degrees, 52 minutes, 30 seconds. West longitude of the prime meridian of Greenwich, England, which is at zero degrees longitude. Number four, North American datum. This is the horizontal datum, the reference for all XY coordinates. It is the datum used for most USGS topographical maps printed before 2009. Note that the North American datum of 1983 is also indicated on this map by dashed crosses that are slightly offset from each corner of the map. On some maps, the dashed crosses are absent, but if you are using GPS along with the topographical map, you must make sure that the GPS datum matches the datum used on the map. This is important. The default datum for most GPS units in the World Geodetic System of 1984, WGS84, which is virtually identical to NAD83. Also, this entire block of text is called the credit legend. It also lists the name of the mapping agency, the name of the agency that furnished the geodetic controls, methods by which the map was performed, credit note for any hydrological information, and informative explanatory notes. GN, or commonly referred to as Grid North. This is the UTM Grid North measured at the center of the map. The numbers directly below indicate the angle between Grid North and True North. The angle is given in minutes and mils. Mils is an angular measurement used by the military. Number six is the state plane coordinate system tick mark. Number seven, this star indicates true or geographic north. The star and line point to the north geographic pole. 
Number 8, MN, or commonly referred to as Magnetic North. This is the approximate direction at the center of the map to the North Magnetic Pole at the given date, in this case, 2015. Remember that the magnetic pole and thus the magnetic declination do change over time. This is the direction to which a magnetic compass needle points. Number 9, 11 degrees 44 minutes east. This is the magnetic declination or variation of the compass. The number of degrees a compass needle at a particular location bears away from true north and points to the north magnetic pole. 209 mils indicates the military angular measurement of the angle, which is used for artillery settings. This entire diagram of lines and arrows is called the magnetic declination diagram. Number 10, longitude. This is a 2.5 minute geographic grid tick given in minutes and seconds. Number 11 is the scale bar and it measures kilometers, meters, miles, and feet. Directly below that is the contour interval level, which is in 40 feet increments. It is the measurement of vertical distance between each contour line. In the scale bar, on top kilometers are measured from 0 to 2 kilometers. Just below that are meters measured from 0 to 1,000 to 2,000 meters. The scale at the top in kilometers measuring 0 to 0 0.5 to 1 are distanced in 100 meter intervals. Just below the kilometers and meters scale bar is the miles bar. And this can be measured either from right to left 0 to 1 mile or 0 to 0 0.5 and in smaller increments. And the last scale bar is measured in feet and 1,000 increments. Let's say you wanted to measure from point A to point B, these two peaks on the map, and get the distance in meters. What you would do is take a piece of paper, create a tick mark that corresponds with each peak. Now we'll bring it over to the scale bar, and just about where meters is at the bottom of kilometers, it's almost a perfect match, give or take a few meters. So we have a measurement of 2,000 meters. Number 12 is the UTM, Universal Transverse Mercator, easting value. Here the point is 518,000 meters false easting. Last three zeros are omitted for brevity. Number 13 is also the UTM Universal Transverse Mercator easting value. This line is 523,000 meters false easting. Number 14 is simply the map name. Maps are usually named after the most prominent cultural airport or town or physical mountain valley or lake feature on the map. Number 15, the UTM Northing Value. In this example, the tick mark is 3,638,000 meters north from the equator. Northings in the southern hemisphere begin with the equator value of 10 million meters and decrease in value as one moves towards the South Pole. And number 16 on our map is Latitude Reading. This is just another 2.5 minute grid tick. Hey, it's Prepper Action, and I hope you enjoyed the video on map margins and the information contained therein. I'm going to start a second part of that series, and it's basically going to be on contour lines and parts of the map inside the collar or the margin area. So stay tuned for part two, and I got a little tip for everybody. Uh, you know your bug out bag. Every once in a while you want to check that thing. Um, if you have food items in there, let me show you what I found. I keep a little bit of beef jerky in there. It lasts for a while. I check it every once in a while. And uh, I check this one and voila. Not good. So uh, you could keep that and uh, use the section here at the bottom for bait, baiting a trap, baiting a snare, uh, fishing, the rest. Chuck, don't even bother with it. But uh, do every once in a while check your uh, bug out bag contents because uh, you might find a surprise in there. Uh, MREs, anything else, change out your water periodically. I'll uh, make sure everything's good to go. And just uh, go through it. Go through every pocket. Every uh, three months at least. All right, prepper action out. Oh, almost forgot. In the event of a zombie attack, Good information.